Yet Age, Fugitive Australian Journalist Shane Young from the website kangarooquarteroustralia.com. Now, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has, in effect, sacked Catherine Campbell. He's a, she's been suspended uh, with no pay, and apparently that happened uh, three days after the RoboDebt Royal Commission. Catherine Campbell was one of the key bureaucrats behind the RoboDebt uh, fraud scam, which was exposed in great detail during the Royal Commission. It's clearly been leaked to the media by Anthony Albanese and his government. This is what it says in some of the reporting. Senior government sources who cannot be named because they are not authorised to speak publicly said Campbell had been suspended without pay three days after the Royal Commission handed down its findings. So it's actually being leaked by the government and it's clearly been leaked to keep the peasants happy, so to speak, because the Royal Commission they handed down their report but they had a sealed section which recommended criminal charges and civil charges against certain people. We don't know who. Now, that should have never happened. That should have been made public immediately. Catherine Holmes, who was uh, congratulated on doing such a great job as the commissioner of the Royal Commission, well, when she handed down that uh, sealed section, that wasn't doing her job, and she would know it. She's a former judge of the Supreme Court, Queensland Supreme Court, and she's been heavily criticised for doing that. Um, former judges and prosecutors and lawyers and barristers have said that should have been made public, and of course it should have. We're entitled to know. The whole Royal Commission found that the, the politicians can't be trusted, the bureaucrats can't be trusted, the law enforcement agencies can't be trusted, the lawyers can't be trusted. The AFP logo was on the RoboDebt demands for payment. The RoboDebt was sending out uh, demands for payment to innocent people, and they had the AFP logo on there trying to intimidate them. So the police can't be trusted. So none of these organisations can be trusted, the RoboDebt Royal Commission found. Yeah, they've sealed a section, and who's that sealed section being sent to? The federal police. <laughs> so, as ex judges and barristers and lawyers are pointing out, how are we meant to keep those people accountable if uh, it's all sealed, it's all hidden? The Robo Debt Royal Commission found we can't trust the politicians, the bureaucrats, law enforcement agencies. Now, the Royal Commission wants us to trust the politicians, the bureaucrats, and the law enforcement agencies into doing the right thing as far as that sealed section is concerned. They're going to do the right thing as far as uh, instituting criminal proceedings and civil proceedings. Well, we should be able to make sure they're accountable by uh, making that public. And that's why uh, I have no doubt that uh, Anthony Albanese has leaked that about Carolyn Campbell because the Royal Commission and also the government have been getting a hiding in the media for that uh, sealed section not being made public. And they've been getting an absolute hiding on social media too. For example, Rex Patrick, a former senator, he's been putting, and I'll put it up on the screen now, uh, how much Catherine Campbell's been getting paid on a daily basis since the Royal Commission ended. And that's been embarrassing for the government, obviously. The government, the politicians, the Prime Minister's office, they all have people monitoring social media on a daily basis. They have people who, that's their full-time job, to monitor social media and to give feedback to the government. And Anthony Albanese and the government would have seen uh, them getting a hiding on social media, getting a hiding in the media with lawyers and barristers saying, hey, that needs to be made public, that sealed section. So they decided to leak uh, the issue in relation to Catherine Campbell. Oh, look, action has been taken. We're strong on the issue. Now, I'll read you out what it says about Catherine Campbell on social media so you really get an understanding of the gravity of the charges or the allegations against her. We haven't seen the specific allegations as far as uh, the sealed section is concerned. I assume there'd be uh, some sort of recommendation of criminal charges or civil charges against her in the sealed section, which would probably justify uh, suspending her. Or maybe it's just a report overall. They've used that to suspend her. I'm not too sure. But I'll read you out this, what it says on Wikipedia. Catherine Jane Campbell, AOCSC, which I don't know what that means, and Bar. An Australian public servant and a former senior officer in the Australian Army Reserve. Campbell was the Secretary of the Department of Human Services from March 2011 to September 2017. She played a key role in the legal debt recovery scheme known as RoboDebt. At two Senate committee inquiries, Campbell controversially shifted the blame of RoboDebt to the victims and refused to accept people had died by suicide after receiving illegal RoboDebt notices. The Royal Commission into the RoboDebt scheme was scathing of Campbell, finding she had intentionally misled Cabinet about the scheme and took steps to prevent the unlawfulness of the RoboDebt being uncovered. 
Campbell moved on to the Secretary of the Department of Social Services from 2017 to 2021, which also oversaw robo-debt. Now, maybe it's just a criticism in the robo-debt Royal Commission findings that uh, Anthony Albanese and the government have used to suspend Catherine Campbell, which is, in effect, sacking. They're going to sack it. Everyone knows it. Or maybe there's recommendation of criminal charges or civil charges against uh, Catherine Campbell in the sealed section. Because the Wikipedia profile says bar, Catherine Jane Campbell bar, which implies, I, I assume, that she's a barrister. Based on my readings, the Royal Commission has also made recommendations to the ACT Bar Association, which I assume is to strike people off or have them uh, reprimanded or whatever. Anyhow, I'll keep on following up on this issue. Obviously, uh, Catherine Campbell's looking like the first girl. Well, she is the first girl. She's been suspended from a $900,000 a year AUKUS role, which was a uh, wrought in itself. How she was appointed to that needs to be investigated by the National Anti-Corruption Commission, but that's another story. Any El Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media. I publish a website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Twitter account. And I'm 100% crowdfunded from people like yourself. And I'm reliant on donations to keep on publishing. So please support my Patreon account. I currently have 279 Patreon supporters donating $1,693 a month. I really need to double that to become financially viable, get at least 500 Patreon supporters. So, and you can donate any amount, $3, $5, 10 15 20 30 40 50 $100, whatever suits your budget. It all helps out in a big way. So please support that. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time and have a good day.